All right, you guys. So on this base review, we have Hector 2207, and he is in the clan Wet Slimes, which is an awesome clan. Um, if you guys need a clan to join, um, I know the leader in that clan. I know the clan very well, um, and it's a good clan to join. So if you guys want, join their clan. All right. So let's just get straight into this. As you guys can see, um, he's a Town Hall 7. And it looks like he is a defensive style base with his Town Hall being in the middle. So that is awesome. Um, so we'll be basically reviewing this as a defensive style base. Alright. So first things I notice um, right off the bat that I don't think he has two air defense. As I'm looking across the base, I only see one. I'm very good at missing things, though. Um, but I can only see that he has one air defense. So first thing you need to work on before anything, get that second air defense. That is so important, my man. Um, that That's key number one. First thing you do when you see this base review, go and get that, that second air defense. Um, you should have it, be able to have it at Town Hall 7. All right. And then we see that he has his, all three of his mortars on the inside. So that's good, covering his entire base. Nothing's getting into that center portion. So good job on that. He has his one air defense on the inside. So good job on that, defending that very well. All right, and what's really weird um, about this base design, I really don't understand it. It's very symmetrical. I like that, pleasing to the eye. But I don't understand why you have your wizard towers on the outside. Um, yeah, I just don't understand. Um, you definitely need to somehow rearrange your base, get a whole new base design, and somehow fit those inside of your base. If you don't, um, if you do want to try a new base design, check out my last video or my video where I have uh, my Town Hall 8 base for in Town Hall 7 War Base, and it is a great defensive base if that's what you're going for. So try that out maybe for you. Um, might help you out a little bit because you need to get those wizard towers on the inside. I mean, I love that you have everything sectioned off. Um, so it's hard to get to all those defenses, but man, you got to get those wizard towers inside. All right. And now we'll move on to the archer towers. Those are spread about evenly covering the entire base. Awesome job with that. They're all in their own sections. And then same with the cannons. Those are all in their own sections. So good job on that. Um, yeah, it's a pretty good base um, for maybe like a Town Hall 6. But being a Town Hall 7, not being able to fit your wizard towers inside, it just doesn't seem like you have enough walls or something. Or maybe you're just doing too much with your base right now and you need to do something. Because also, if you notice, your clan castle is also on the outside, and you need to somehow be able to fit that inside too. So easy to draw out your troops. Um, yeah, man, you definitely need to put that on the inside also. So get that going. You got your resources, um, gold mines, uh, elixir, elixir collectors, your barracks and army camps all on the outside, which is definitely something I suggest. You even have it to where your Dark Elixir storage is on the outside. So um, if we look and see how much he has inside of it, looks like he has four. Um, so uh, obviously he doesn't have too much, so it's not very important to put that on the inside. Um, but I see you have it all on over on this side like a horseshoe. I would definitely take these like up here on the top right hand side where you have the three barracks 
in this gold mine. Maybe take some of those barracks and move it on this back side where you don't have any buildings and cover some, you know, some of your walls up over on that side. Maybe surround your wizard tower with some buildings to help your wizard tower tower out because your wizard tower is so important to your base, man. Especially protecting your elixir storages that you want your wizard tower protecting those and with them being on the outside they're not doing much they're so they're so vulnerable being on the outside so definitely figure that out move some of these extra buildings on that out other side because i like the way that you have them on the outside but i don't like how you have that uh left hand side the top left completely bare um, they can go up right to that archer tower, that cannon, and that wizard tower without anything in the way. Um, archers will have a field day with that, and so will a giant break going after that wizard tower. With that wizard tower, I would just drop one giant and about ten ar archers behind it and take out that wizard tower and most likely take out that cannon. But if you put a couple barracks and stuff over there, the wiz the archers would have to go through the barracks first um, before it can even touch the wizard tower. And hopefully that cannon and this archer tower over here would pick off a couple before they got to that wizard tower. Just an idea, man. Um, so, yeah, I like the defensive style, but it looks more like a Town Hall 6 style to me than a Town Hall 7. So maybe get that uh, rearranged, try a new base out, man. Because it's a good base, but just not for a Town Hall 7. Just doesn't look like enough room for a Town Hall 7 base. All right, so we got that out of the way. Now what to upgrade? Starting off with your mortars. You got two level 4s and a level 5. And uh, you got your one... Or, or no, no, no level fives. You got two level fours and a level three. So they all need to be upgraded. You can get to level five with your mortars. So definitely work on that. Your splash damage is first. All right. Your air defense, that can be upgraded to level five. So get that going. Um, you got your clan castle already upgraded to level three. Good job on that. You can hold a dragon. Um, which is awesome in Clan War, so good job on that. Wizard Towers definitely need to be worked on. Um, you're a little ways from that, level 4, so that's a ways. That one has 3, and this one has 2. So definitely get, get started on those Wizard Towers, man. Alright, so... You definitely need to work on your splash damages. I, I think you've been focusing on your single targets. As I look around, all your archer towers, level 8, level 6, level 7. So you've been working on your archer towers, but you've been working on your single targets first. So, But you still need to upgrade uh, your one away, and you're working on a level 6. So you got two level 7s. You can get to level eight for your archer towers so you're only one away and you're about to be one away on that level six um and all your cannons level seven level eight level eight level eight so you've been working on your single target you're doing it the opposite way work on your splash damages first then go to your single targets yeah single target upgrades are cheaper but you're not getting the most bang for your buck you're trying to be the best base you can possibly be splash damages is a big part of that so work on that my man your spell factory is level two um, that can get to level three so work on that being upgraded your army camps are really low my man you can hold up to 200 troops and you can only hold 70 you don't even have a fourth army camp that's crazy you need a that's f cheap that's super cheap. You need to get your fourth army camp, my man. Definitely. That's super cheap. I think it's like a five-minute upgrade to just get one started. I think you can hold like 25 troops with your first one or like 20 troops. Get that going, my man. You're about 70 troops shy of where you should be. So get that going, my man. You, and you don't have nothing cooking up in your laboratory. Definitely always keep 
your troops upgrading doesn't cost a builder and uh, yeah and it's just a easy way to have a better attack you know attacking is just as important important as defending and defending is just as important as attacking so get that upgraded my man keep going all right your elixir collectors and pumps or mines I mean are all semi upgraded they're all getting close level 10s I see is your lowest ones and you have a lot of those so good job you've been focusing a lot on that and those are like four day upgrades five day upgrades so you've been focusing a lot on that, I understand. In the long run, it's going to collect you more money. I understand that. So I can see why you've been focusing on that a lot. Um, so good job on that. Um, you don't have your Barbarian King yet, but you have very little Dark Elixir. So maybe when you start pushing for that, I'll also have a video um, that I've posted on how to get a Barbarian King if you want to watch that easy way in two raids I get like 1400 Dark Elixir um, really simple way to get a Barbarian King so if you need to watch that video because um, you'll be able to get a Barbarian King in I'd say a week or less alright you got a Dark Barracks already a Barracks 8, Barracks 5 and you only have two barracks. And you should have, I believe, four barracks. So, definitely get that going, my man. Oh, my goodness. I don't know how new you are to Town Hall 7, but it doesn't look like you're too new since you, I mean, you got your almost all your cannons up to level 8. You've almost got all your archer towers up. And your walls. I mean, you got level 6 walls, and that, you only need one more level once after level six so i mean you've been working on your walls your walls is one of your best things on your base i mean you've already been working on that so um yeah just uh keep it going my man you, you need a lot of more you need a lot of stuff still um definitely want to rearrange that base capitalize the most you can on your defenses and work on your splash damages um you got both your builders. You only have two builders, so you're very limited. I would definitely suggest start saving for that third builder. That third builder is always so easy to get, so start saving. That's only 500 gems. With my new account, I saved it in like, I think, less than a month. Um, so definitely work on getting a, another builder so that can help you out. You got both of them busy, so that's good. All right. So what I would rate this base, and I gotta be honest with you, my man. I, I know you, Hector. I'm in your clan. Um, most of the time, you guys are awesome, but I gotta be real with you. You know, I, I'm only doing this. I appreciate you letting me review your base. I feel bad almost for saying this, but I'm gonna give your base about a five out of ten, just because you got a lot of stuff to do. You haven't gotten some of the easy buildings that you should have gotten already and yeah I'm sorry my man but I gotta give you a five don't take it to heart I'm not bashing on you I still love you guys but I'm gonna give you a five out of ten just keep working on your base I mean your defensive style base is awesome it's great I just feel like it's a town hall six style so I, I you obviously know what you're doing but you need to get some more buildings that are really easy to get so I'll just do that. Well, thank you, Hector, for letting me review your base. Sorry I was so hard on you. It's tough to do, but I got to be real with you. I got to be real with my subscribers. So, but thank you for letting me review your base. You're awesome, Hector. Stay beautiful. All right, you guys, on to the next base. All right, you guys. So we're back again. And this time we have Snakeskin114 and the clan Alpha Dogs. Now, I don't know if Snakeskin realizes or not how many alpha dogs there is in the Klausha Clan's clan territory world, but there's probably a billion, and he did not give his clan, clan flag design, so I had to go one by one down all the uh, clans, and I was about to give up, and finally I found him. So if you do want your base reviewed, 
remember to put your flag design style in your base. This was a lot of work just to review this guy's base. But you're lucky I love my subscribers. Make sure you put your flag design. And if you switch out clans, you, you're not in the same clan anymore, make sure you update it so I know which clan to look for you in. Because it's a lot of work, you guys, to try to find one person in a million different clans. All right. Sorry, I just got done going through a bunch of two people that I cannot find. So, all right, let's get let's get into this snake skin. All right, looks like he has a uh, defensive style base. He's a town hall level seven with his town hall being on the inside. So, looks like that's what the kind of base we are going to be reviewing. All right. So the first thing I notice is that he has his two mortars on the inside with the third one being on the outside. I definitely don't suggest that. I definitely would find a way um, to make it so you can put all three mortars on the inside. Um, and we'll get into that a little bit later as you guys, well, we'll just, just talk, talk about it right now. As you can see, you have a bunch of walls right here. You have all your elixir pumps and gold mines being surrounded by walls or inside. Get rid of that. There's no reason to protect those unless you're not on a lot. Then keep it that way. But if you are on at least once a day to collect all your loot, there's no reason to protect them. So you can widen your base a little bit, widen the, widen the middle of the base so that way you can fit that third mortar on the inside. So that's something I definitely suggest. And he is also a Town Hall 7, and he has his two air defenses on the <laughs> inside. So good job with that. Definitely something I do suggest. Um, and they're on opposite ends, so good job with that. You have your two wizard towers pretty well protected. It looks like they're guarding uh, the gold storages mostly. I would try to find a way to guard your elixir storage also, but if you're not too worried about it, then forget it. Never mind. But I would suggest to try to cover both of your storages with your wizard towers. Um, so, but good job with that. No complaints so far except that mortar being on the outer side. You got your uh, cannons and your archer towers spread about evenly um, around the base. So good job also on that. One thing I do see though is that your clan castle is easily drawn out. With being a defensive style base, you definitely are going to want to try to defend that as best as possible. Um, so they can't draw it out. They're definitely there to help you. And uh, they're not doing you any favors by it being that far on the outside. So with these walls that you have protecting all your elixir pumps and gold mines, I definitely suggest to try to widen up that center um, so that way you can fit your clan castle in there too. Um, but a thing that I notice also is that there's no compartments for your defenses. It's just pretty much a merry-go-round. Um, once they get inside, there's no wall stopping them. That's another thing they can use these walls protecting your um, elixir mines or gold mines and elixir pumps. You can section them off so you can put walls, put like in this top corner, section off these cannons and archers, put walls so that way they can't, they have to break through the wall just to get to that defense. Definitely something I suggest. Um, yeah. Because there's no reason to have those protected if you're at least on once a day to collect. All right. So I like how, though, you have your basic useless buildings for being defensive style on the outside. I would maybe move these two barracks out here and put them up against the wall over next to this dark barrack. So that way you're protecting a little bit more. It's kind of useless. They can't be hit by that archer tower if an archer is trying to pick those off. So I would definitely suggest to move those along the wall, give you a little bit more buildings to break through. You could actually even move that third one over also because it's doing you no favors right there. 
But uh, it's an all right defensive base. Definitely suggest to section off a few more of your defenses to help you out a little bit more. Just an idea, my man. But you got the right idea, you got the right gist. Put your mortars in the middle, your defense in the middle, and protect your goddamn resources, soldier. So good job on that. All right. Um, yeah, not, not too many complaints. So not too much to talk about then if there's nothing to complain about, right? <laughs> All right. What to upgrade? All right. So we got two level four, three level four mortars. So good job on that. They all just have one more level to go. So not too bad, not too bad. Your your air defenses have two more levels to go. Not too bad either. Just get those up to level five. Um, your wizard towers, two level threes, and those can get to level four at Town Hall 7. So only one more level to go on that. So good job, my man. You're not too. You're not doing too bad. Your archer towers are got level seven, level seven, level seven, level seven. So one more to go on all those. Your cannons level seven, level seven, level seven, <laughs> level seven. One more to go on that man. You are one level with pretty much everything besides your air defense. So you're getting pretty darn close to being able to upgrade your town hall. So, good job on that. Seems like you're going in the right order. Just get those uh, mortars and your wizard tower upgraded. Maybe another level on your air D before you level up your single targets. Just a suggestion. Alright, your gold mines are all level 8 it looks like. And your elixirs are 9 and 110. So, you're getting those upgraded I see. So, just keep working on that. Not the biggest deal in the world. But, uh... Get those going when you can. Your army camps are all level 5. Those all can go up to uh, level 6 to get 200 troops to hold. So definitely want to get those upgraded. Just one away from that. You got uh, 3 level 7 barracks and 1 level 8. So good job on that. Um, they all can be at level 9 right now. So those can be up a little bit more. Um, I believe that's your dragon that you can get once you get to level 9. So get that going so you can get a dragon. But yeah, doing pretty good, man. Your uh, spell factory is level 3. Your clan castle is level 3. So perfect. Those are all good. Don't got a barbarian king yet. Um, let's see how much you got in your gold storage. 94 big points of dark elixir in that storage. So... You don't have too much. And like I said, uh, I got a barbarian, how to get a barbarian king in my video. If you want to know how to do that, check in my recent videos. Um, you'll be able to get one in no time. So the biggest thing, though, all your defenses are going up. They're all pretty much a level away from being max. But your level, your walls, they can go to level 7 at Town Hall, level 7. And you only have a few of the level 6 walls. So you got a ways to go on that, my man. And I would definitely suggest to get all those upgraded um, before you move up. Because people move up their Town Hall, not worrying about their walls. Then they get to level Town Hall 9, Town Hall 10, and be like, Oh, shit, I have level 6 walls still, and I can get to level 11. You know how much work you have to put in to go 5 levels? Too much to even think about it. Make your head spin until it flies off into outer space and lands on Mars and aliens pick at it. Being like, why does this guy have such low walls? And it's just a mess, man. So get those walls upgraded before it just becomes too much of a hassle to where you just give up on your walls. So get those going. Finish those off before, or at least get most of them up to level 7 before you upgrade your town hall. Because you got a lot to do, my man. You only got about like five level six walls. So get those going. All right. So a pretty good base. Pretty good base. You got all your builders sleeping. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Keep those builders building, my man. Never let them take a break. Don't have your builders be lazy. Lazy builders 
You just boot them. Get rid of them. There's no reason to have lazy builders. Keep them working at all time, my man. All right. So what I would rate this base with, uh, what I would rate this base. I'd probably rate it a six and a half. I'm going to rate it a six and a half snake skin. Um, just because I don't find the uses for the walls protecting your gold mines and your elixir collectors. See no use in that. Um, your walls are really low. Um, your defenses are your best part about it. You definitely know how to uh, protect your base. You're doing a good job on that. So maybe a soft seven, six and a half to seven. Um, you just need a few. You just need to work on your walls, man. You, and you need to find a way to put that mortar and clan castle in the middle to help protect you, especially when you're a defensive style base. If you're farming, you can kick that town hall on the outside, move that clan castle in the middle, and you'd be fine. Um, but then your clan castle doesn't really matter as much. That's the only thing about that. But I uh, definitely suggest you get those walls going. That's your biggest thing. And maybe utilize those walls protecting your elixir collectors and storages a little bit more. And keep those builders building. All right, Snakeskin. Thank you for letting me review your base. You're awesome. You have a great day. Stay beautiful. All right, you guys. On to the next base review. All right, you guys, so we're back with another base review. This time we have Epic Minecraft and the clan SSA, which is actually my clan ass backwards. So he asked for me to review his base before he joined my clan, and then he rejoined my clan. So <clears throat> I told him I'd review him the first one, wasn't able to, so I'm reviewing it now. So don't think I'm playing favorites or anything. I'm just... He asked me to do it before he joined. Or I'm not giving my clan free promotion either. So, all right, you guys. So, he has a town hall, level eight. And it looks like he is in a farming style base with his resources on the inside, dead on the inside, full as ever. That's crazy. Let's see how much gold he has. 841,000. Nice, almost 2 million gold in each of his storages. So, right on. He must be saving up for a big upgrade. All right, so we're going to be reviewing a farming style base. So, let's get straight into it. <clears throat> He's got uh, his two mortars on the inside, semi inside. One's on the real inside, one's not. Um, maybe he puts his clan or I think maybe the other mortar goes there as you guys can see he has one on the very outside maybe it just finishing upgraded to level five I don't know but uh, he has one on the outside and there's an empty space there in the middle so I'm guessing <clears throat> I don't know if the clan castle goes right there or if that mortar that's sitting outside goes right there but obviously that mortar outside is not supposed to be sitting there um, so maybe that's what goes there so I'm gonna I'm just going to guess and say that goes there. All right. Um, so he has his three mortars on the inside. So that's good. Defending um, his entire base. That's good. Good job on that. He has his three wizard towers in the triangle. Perfect execution of that. Great job. Um, it's guarding most of his resources. Um, he has this elixir storage over here on the right hand side. That's not being guarded. Um, I would definitely suggest to maybe move your Barb King around. Or huh, how would you get it? Or this smaller elixir storage. Move that with this big one. So that way one of these wizard towers can guard it. That's something I would suggest. But your wizard towers are set up perfect. Do not move them. They are great positioning. Good job on that. He has his three air defenses. <laughs> Um, semi in the corner um, the top by the town hall is not being defended very well with by the air D's um, so I would suggest maybe moving that but uh, maybe with this archer tower right next to it maybe move those two because even just a few spaces up to the top will guard just a little bit more for you so maybe I would suggest doing that 
But other than that, they're good positioning. They're inside a layer of walls, two layers of walls. So that is excellent. Good job on that. He has his clan castle semi to the outside. It's not the worst I've ever seen, but it's also not the best. Um, that definitely can be moved right in the middle if you wanted to, which is what I would suggest. Um, but with the base design that you do have, it uh, would make it so that way you're not farming as well. You're not protecting your your loot as well. So I understand why you have that kind of on the outside. And when you're farming, in my eyes, the way I see it, you don't need to defend your clan castle that well because it's not that important. The most important thing is not getting, you know, starred. It is protecting your loot. The last thing you want them to be able to get after is that loot. And that's exactly what he's doing. So him having his clan castle semi to the outside easily be lured out is not the worst thing in the world when you're farming. So good job on that. Um, you got your barbarian king right next to it. Like I, same rules go with that. So we can just go over that. Skip over that. Um, he's got his archer tower spread around the base pretty well. Um, so good job on that. You got your cannons also spread about, so excellent job on that. This one I can actually review your Tesla Towers because you're in my clan. And he has them spread apart perfectly, so that's a great job on that. Um, yeah, perfect, man. Not much else I can complain about. Um, with his base design, he has plenty of separation. Um, just so many multiple layers of walls it's awesome I mean the only thing that could do damage to this is hog riders so great job man this is exactly the kind of base that I like to go after um, not go not attack but this is the kind of base that I like the one where it has many separate compartments for your defenses it just makes it that much harder for ground troops to break through every single one of these walls Giants, there's no way a giant would be able to three-star this base. So, I like this base design. He has all of his um, non-defensive buildings on the outside. Most of them are tucked up next to the building, or next to the walls. So, good job on that. Um, pretty good defensive, or pretty good base. I mean, great farming base. So, good job on that, my man. All right what to upgrade so you are town hall level 8 so you definitely need to get these wizard towers up they're not even maxed for level town hall 7 so you got a lot of work to do with your wizard towers so get those up ASAP I see you're working on that one um, but town that's not even maxed for town hall level 7 with these two wizard towers um, and they can go up to level 6 Town Hall 8 is the biggest defensive upgrades, I think, of any Town Halls. There's a lot to upgrade, so you want to max out. It's so important to max out at Town Hall Level 7, because Level 8, if you didn't max everything out at Level 7, you are going to have a world of time of trying to catch up at Town Hall Level 8. The, these Wizard Towers can go to Level 6, so... That's crazy. You got a lot of work ahead of you on your wizard towers. Your mortars are all level 5. Awesome job on that. You have obviously focused on that. Those can go up to level 6. So those just need one more upgrade. Good job on that. Your air defense needs to go up two more levels for this level 4. This one needs three more levels. And this one is obviously the brand new one you just got, which you're upgrading to level 3. Good job. Focus on those. Um... Yeah, they, get, they need to go up to level 6, so a lot of focusing on that, my man. So keep focusing on your air D like you obviously are doing. So those are a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of, you know, a lot of time spent on those. The Hidden Tesla Towers, I finally get to review this. So those ones are level 1. You need to get those to level 3, or actually level 6. I can believe I forgot you could have had at least... Uh, Right? Uh, what am I? Why am I freaking out right now? Yeah, those could have been at level three at Town Hall level seven. So you only have those at level one. 
and at Town Hall level 8, those go to level 6. So you need 5 more levels for those, my man. Get those up ASAP. I'm working on mine right now. You know what my level 5 upgrade time is? 10 days. And those aren't even max. I still got another level to go. I'm working on my second level 5. They're taking forever. I, the next upgrade's 12 days to go to level 6 to max out at Town Hall level 8. So you got, you got like a month and a half just in time on these. Um, so get these upgraded, my man, ASAP. They should have been at level 3 off the bat um, before you even upgraded your Town Hall. So get that going up. All right, Archer Tower is level 6, level 7, level 7, level 6. Those are under upgraded. Those should have been at level 8 at Town Hall 7. Um, now they can go to level 10 at Town Hall 8. So it seems like you kind of rushed your Town Hall from level 7 to level 8, which is the last Town Hall to rush is level 7 because when you get to level 8, like I said, you have so many upgrades to do. It's unreal. So now, now that you got to level 8, there's no going back. So now you're going to be at Town Hall level 8 for a while. I've been at Town Hall level 8 for like four months now. And I'm finally getting to the end. And now I just need to focus on my walls. I got like 80 level 8 walls. And I need like 140 more to go. So, But I almost finished all my upgrades all for my defenses. It's a lot of work, my man. You got a lot of work ahead of you. So start focusing on that. Um, your cannons are all level 8. Those are your cheapest of the upgrades. So I can see why those are level 8. Good job on that. Those just need to go to level 10. So start focusing on that. When you get around to it, after you get your splash damages up, definitely after you get your wizard tower towers up, and I'd probably get a few Tesla levels up too before you focus on getting your cannons up anymore. All right. Your gold mines are level 8s, 9s, 8s. And elixir collectors, eights. That's not the worst thing in the world to have low, low ones of those as long as you're raiding a lot. It looks like you are because you got almost two million in loot. Um, so, I mean, get, get those up as you can if you don't have a lot of money and just need a quick upgrade. That's always nice to do. Um, your clan castle is level three, so you can upgrade that one more time, which I definitely suggest you to do. So get that going. Once you get the whole 25 troops, it's kind of nice. You can get a dragon and five archers or, you know, it's, it's nice. It's definitely nice. I would definitely focus on that. Um, so get that upgraded. Your barracks are a little low. Level 8, level 2, level 3. And a level 3. Oh, my gosh. Focus on your barracks, my man. That is crazy. You know that that's nuts. You can you can build more troops at one time, and these can only like this level two. This level two can only build goblins, goblins and barbarians, and this level three can only get to archers. You got the level eight. That's nice, but you need to get that up upgraded definitely my man and the more times you upgraded the more troops you can build in those barracks so get that going you can almost hold 200 troops you're one level away on three of them so get that going up my man 200 troops is um, definitely gonna help you out in battle um, with that clan castle upgrade that's an extra 20 troops you can bring into battle so think about that 20 troops is a big deal you got a level two dark barracks. That's crazy. You got it to the same level as one of your regular barracks. I don't know what's going on, but you are focusing on your troops. I mean, they are upgraded. I mean, looks like your archers might not be level five yet, but it looks like your barbarians definitely are. And you're obviously doing barge raiding and with a little bit of goblins, a barg, a bag raid. There you go. A bag, bag raid. All right, so yeah, you got a lot of upgrades to do. You're gonna be at Town Hall for a while, especially with these level six walls. You don't even have one level seven, and level sevens are maxed for Town Hall seven. So you have another two levels to go on your walls, so focus on that. 
you got a lot of upgrades ahead of you, my man. A lot of gaming to do. So I'm glad you're in my clan, though. You're an awesome clan mate. You're doing awesome in the rating. In the rating in our clan wars, you're doing a great job. Um, just got to focus on this base, my man. So what I would rate this base. Your upgrades are holding you back so much. I want to give you a good rating because of how your base setup is. Like, obviously, you know how to play. You know the kind of right base to have. But you obviously rushed a town hall. And as you guys know, in the Clash of Clans community, that's one of the most frowned upon things is a rushed town hall. I'm going to have to rate your base a 6, Epic Minecraft. No, no offense. You know, I appreciate you letting me review your base. That's awesome that you let me do that. So I appreciate it. No harm. I know you're my clan. You know I like you. So you got your builders busy, so that's good. That helps you out a little bit. But with low walls, low defenses, I got to rate you a six. All right, Epic Minecraft. Thank you for letting me review your base. Thank you for being in my clan. You're awesome. Have a great day and stay beautiful.